So today we're going to go up the allotment and pick some tomatoes, yes. And as it happens, I've been up there, I've done all the recording and I come down and the intro didn't record. So I'm sitting here now, after I've done it all, doing the intro, work that out. But there's two things, one of them is a bit upsetting. Setting thing. <laughs> my last competition, you know my last competition for me, my best prize in the world. Well, I'd just like to say, not one person, <laughs> not one person <laughs> emailed for her. You know what, now, she's the unwanted princess. Come on, let's go. Off to the tip. Nobody wants you. To be honest, I'm putting her in me. I'm putting her in me bloody brassicas because I'm sure she'll fright. The, she'll do a better job than I've been doing. It's scaring the birds. Come here and have a look. She's going to be here, and I, I'm guessing she will do a better job because I've got a different plan. I pulled me. Amazon, the, you know that tape, the best tape in the world for pigeon scaring and all that. Well, it's not pigeons, it's starlings now. I'm getting hit with starlings. And things are changing, but for now, she's got about a week, two weeks reprise, then she's going to the tip, and it's on your, it's on your head. That was the best joke I've come up with all day. Oops. <laughs> First time I've grown sun gold. And I'm, I'm really quite pleased, especially because they've come early and that taste there. Man, that's, that should be like in a sweetie shop, you know, in the jars. So come on, we'll pick some of these. There you go, look at that. First batch, first batch. They'll get eaten tonight in a salad, but it's lovely. So you can see as well, you know, the different, you know, I've been picking them just so different shades as well. So obviously they go like a really nice orange, but I'm picking them as well. Just sometimes like a little bit of a tart, sharp taste as well. A couple of the sprigs, I think as well, of the basil do, do lovely. Have you seen this as well? I <laughs> didn't even realize this was here. This was in my first <laughs> cucumber. I'm using them halos. And this was buried in the, in the center of the halo. So, man, it's no wonder. That's, I'm thinking, well, that should be given off because I've already had one from there. But I don't know if you can see <laughs> the size of it. I had to use a knife to get it all out. Man, big nasty thing, that big, big nasty thing. I'm wondering as well, did anybody see Lovely Greens as last video, it might have been the last one by the time, maybe maybe another one before this one comes out, where she was talking about this disease that comes through the compost in your tomatoes. Now I'm not sure, they all look good, but someone pointed out about my little, the balcony tomatoes, maybe that's because they're purely in, you know, a bag contained, there's no soil mixture that kind of, I don't know if it dilutes it or not, but all this, what I put in me bags, sorry, in me tomato pots, was compost. You know, it was the Levingtons, you know, the Tomorite, sorry, or that, that particular brand, you know, you, you get extra in the bag. I'll show you the bag up there. Now, I did all mine, and these ones look fine, but when you watch the Lovely Greens video, I honestly recommend go over and watch it. It just devastated her, the full kind of crop, and she, <laughs> the annoying part for her is, She's doing this kind of ongoing video about you know how to kind of grow the tomatoes and it's just kind of knocked that all the six so that's a real shame 
So these ones do look a little bit suspect from, from the actual batch that I've seen, you know, when they were selling them in that Red Fox nursery. So just, if I can get round there. I mean, this one's still, you know, dinky tiny. They're not in the, in, because I know it's lovely greens was all like wilting and, and everything nasty about them. But these ones, you know, and they've still got, some, they've got, yeah, actually I can pick them yellow tomatoes off there. That's got a bit of like a split on it, but nothing. Oh, ho, 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 look at that little bad boy, missed. I'll have to have a look in there. They're so tight and crammed in. So I don't know, there's another one. There we go, some red tomatoes. Is that the, so I don't know if these have got them or not, but they don't look that healthy a plant. Oh, there's, there's another one, but they're right buried deep inside. Well, there's, oh, there's another one, man, oh, hey. So maybe these have got them, I'm not too sure. These are my gardener's delight, the grafted ones as well. And I'm just waiting for the, you know, when all that kind of trust starts to, to ripen out. But I'll tell you what I have noticed as well while I've just been down here. Now, can you see it? <laughs> yes, these are, actually there's quite a few. I wonder if that's ready. That, this is me indigo, no, no, they're not. Indigo blue ones there where you can see. And actually, if you move, if I move the camera up, can you see there's some there as well? These are my indigo blue ones, which I'm excited about. Yeah, so we've got fruits on there as well. And look at this, man, this is, look at that. <laughs> these are the sweet million. And actually there's a bloody red one there, man, as well. Oh, oh yes. Look at that, yeah, can you see that? Oh, perfect there, eh? what a little beauty. What's <laughs> in my mouth? Oh! Man, man, they're nice as well. Now this is my, the Shirley plants. And like I say, they're, they're all right, but compared to the grafted, and I mean, I've got some nice tomatoes on as well. Don't get us wrong. So it's all about that in the end. But those grafted ones do look substantially more like a stronger plant. We'll see what it comes to the crop, you know what I mean? But. Like I say, if you can just kind of just zoom and watch, I'm knocking the bloody camera and all sorts there. That is the grafted ones. Can I just take it in there? Those ones there. And yeah, I mean, you can see that kind of the stem of it, you know what I mean? But you can also see, you can see that little bowl of tomatoes there. My first batch of the year. <laughs> so yes, got my first batch of tomatoes for the year, which I'm... <laughs> and that basil in there as well. They, them sun gold are delicious. If you haven't grown them, get ready for next year. Grow them next year because they, they might not even. Oh yeah. Take good care. Oh, ma. <laughs> it's like a little sugar roach. <laughs>